Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of September 26th to October 2nd, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Scorpio, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One last thing, please be aware of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. There are people that are sending private messages to my subscribers offering personal readings with my name and with my picture. If you, if you receive a message of this kind, please be aware that that is not me, that is a scammer. All right, let's get started. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. First card we have for you, Scorpio, is the Ten of Swords, okay, the Page of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Queen of Swords. Some of you have, have new love entering into your life here. We have Four of Swords. We have Nine of Wands in Reverse. At the bottom, we have the Tower card in reverse. That's your card, Scorpio. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. All right, let's see what's going on here. Ooh, look at that Emperor in reverse. Emperor in reverse, Six of Cups and the Five of Wands. King of Cups is also here. That's your energy with the Sun and with the Ten of Wands. What you you keep looking at this at this ten. I don't know why you keep looking that way. Look, ten of swords and the ten of wands. Some sort of ending here. That happened, an ending or a separation, but you're you're looking at it. You're looking straight at it. And you're looking at it. You're looking at it through the King of Cups, which can represent nostalgia sometimes. Some of you are missing someone, Scorpio. You're thinking about someone. You're you're reminiscing about someone, who who you had an ending with. Mm. All right. Let me just get straight to that energy why is the page of swords here spirit empress in reverse oh i see and the page of cups upright some of you are wanting to apologize to a past person or if it's not to apologize you want to kind of make amends um you want to extend out your friendship to this person? Offer your friendship? You want to have some sort of reconciliation? Even if it's not to, to go back to how things used to be, but at least to be on, 
on good terms. <clears throat> Why is the King of Cups here? Queen of Wands in reverse and the Two of Cups. Oh, okay, so you have feelings for someone. We have the Two of Cups here. There's someone here who, who, rep who represents um, something special, someone special. Mm. You care about them, you have feelings for them. Um, you want their well-being. You desire their well-being. Even if things became ugly between you two, or even if things, you know, ended thing ended between you between you two. There's an energy here of you wanting to heal. Wanting to heal the connection or the relationship. Tell me about that sun spirit. Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords in reverse. It does feel like a like an energy of acceptance also. Almost like if you're accepting that whatever happened is what is what happened. Um kind of like an it's kind of like a it, it is what it is type of energy. What happened, happened. I can't do anything to fix it. We can't do anything to fix it. But I at least want to maintain a good relationship with you. Even if it's friends. Let me just uh, confirm that. What does uh, Scorpio want? Because I can see you have a lot of focus um, on this person. Yeah, there's a heavy focus on this person. So what does Scorpio want um, with whoever they're dealing with in, in love spirit? What is their um, desire? What is their true desire in regards to whoever they're dealing with? cups in reverse the four of cups in reverse i keep feeling like you want to heal the relationship and i'm i'm getting a little bit of guilt in your energy scorpio do you feel guilty about something even even if you didn't do anything wrong per se i still feel like you're carrying some sort of guilt even if you didn't do anything wrong. Four of Cups in reverse is kind of an energy of wanting to recover, recover the relationship with someone or save the relationship. Tell me more about what Scorpio um, truly wants and desires with this person, spirit. We also have here the Page of Wands. You wanna open up the lines of communication You want to open up the lines of communication. Yeah, I feel like you're missing this person. Tell me about the Ten of Swords here, Spirit. Eight of Swords. Oh, look at that. Eight of Swords. I was waiting for that Ace of Cups. Eight of Swords and the Ace of Cups upright. Yeah, some of you want to like start start again with this person, like have a new beginning, but you realize that a lot of healing needs to happen first. A heart to heart conversation needs to happen first with the Page of Wands. 
because there is significant damage within this soulmate relationship, soulmate connection. Um, let me look at the card of Scorpio um, over there with the tower in reverse spirit. What's that card doing? The two of swords, okay, what else? And the eight of pentacles in reverse. Oh, this might be why you were feeling, why you're feeling guilty, why you were feeling guilty, why you are feeling guilty. Two of swords and the eight of pentacles in reverse. You block this person for for a period of time, or you you closed your you closed yourself off to this person. Two of swords can sometimes represent like bitterness or resentment. Feeling upset, feeling angry, feeling disappointed, feeling like you need, you felt like you needed to protect yourself. You feel, you felt like you needed to keep yourself guarded. You shut this person out. Is that what you did? Let me just verify that. What actions did Scorpio take towards this person um, in the past, in the recent past? What were Scorpio's actions towards this person, whoever they're dealing with in love? The Three of Swords. Okay. This represents the actions from your recent past. Three of Swords. So I don't know. I don't know if you two mutually hurt each other. There was obviously some sort of um, conflict here with the Three of Swords heartbreak, conflict, pain, disappointments. But I don't know if you caused this person heartbreak or if they caused you heartbreak or if it was mutual. Because I do feel like you're carrying guilt here and I feel like you want to heal the situation. And again, even for some reason, I feel like even if you didn't do anything wrong, you still feel a sense of, I don't know, just feeling bad a sense of guilt. Tell me more about the recent actions that Scorpio took towards this person um, in the recent past. The strength card. Yeah, that's what I was talking about with the two of swords. You resisted this person, you, you, you closed off, you pushed them away, you, or you, you kept your distance. You retreated, something like that. But I feel like you're in this energy of wanting to um, mend bridges, mend some kind of burned bridge between you and this person. This Knight of Cups can represent that as well. Wanting to come towards, wanting to come towards some someone with a more kinder energy or with a more softer energy, gentle energy, soothing energy. It's like you wanna, you wanna soothe the pain or soothe the wound. Bring a more gentle energy to the situation, whatever the situation is, okay. I think I'm done here. So that's your energy for the week. Let's move on. Let's take a look at your person and see what, what is their energy for the week. If, if it complements your energy or if it's completely different. Let's, let's take a look. <clears throat> okay. 
All right, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Scorpio is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, spirit. Okay, one more shuffle. Okay, the two of pentacles kept showing up. Might be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. For some of you, first card in regards to your person, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. The Queen of Cups in reverse, the Empress upright. Um, could be a Libra, could also be a water sign. We have two of wands. We have the chariot card, the queen of wands in reverse, and the queen of swords upright. We have all the signs here, fire sign, air sign. Queen of Swords with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords. A lot of swords. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. All right, let's take a look. Wow, Four of Swords is here as well. Look at that. Eight of Swords. And the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So, Swords represent thinking so a lot of thinking coming from this person yeah a lot of thinking look at that four of swords and eight of swords this is someone who can't stop thinking about you about whatever happened between you two they feel quite conflicted and they're also looking at this Ten of Swords. You were looking at the Ten of Swords, and, and here they are also looking at the Ten of Swords. Some sort of bad ending or bad separation between you two. Painful separation. But also, like, it's like an en energy of tension or hostility or resentments bitterness i feel like there's a lot of negative um feelings attached to this ending we do have the five of swords in reverse so they do want to return back to to this situation to this disaster what it looks like they want to return back to 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 whatever happened and it looks like they want to talk about it with the queen of swords they want to talk about it all right let me see what else knight of pentacles they're indecisive, though, with the Two of Wands and with the Chariot card. They're not really sure if they should just let this go, just completely let it go and move on, or if they should, or if they should return back to this ending that happened between you two to try to communicate with you and to try to come up with some sort of solution. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Again, they are thinking about returning back. Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Wands. There's, a, there's some kind of weird energy with this person, um, Scorpio. Because I feel like they want to return back, but at the same time, why? I feel like they're not... 
they're not completely convinced that they should return back to this. They're not completely convinced about it and they're not completely like, um, they, they don't, they don't really know what they want to get out of this situation. They don't really understand what their purpose is. You know, it's like, yeah, they're coming back, but they don't, they don't know what the, what the purpose is of coming back. They don't know what they want to gain from it. Yeah, look at that, the star, the sun, and the nine of cups in reverse. So they are definitely troubled with the Nine of Cups in reverse. They're troubled, they're unhappy, they're unsettled. It's almost like they want closure. I almost feel like this person might, might desire closure or desire a better closure than, than the one you two had, if there was any. Tell me more about that Queen of Swords spirit. The Ten of Wands, another Ten. You also had the Ten of Wands. Tell me more. The Two of Swords. The Two of Swords and the Ten of Wands. So with the Two of Swords, I feel like this is someone who, who was blocking you. This is someone who who was blocking you or he, who is currently blocking you still. It's almost like they didn't even want to deal with whatever issues you two had. They didn't they didn't want to confront it or acknowledge it or deal with it. This is someone who was in an energy of it's over, it's done. I'm not, I'm not going to get emotionally attached to this ending that happened between Scorpio and I. I'm not going to get emotionally attached to it. But they are emotionally attached. That's why they're lingering here. If they weren't emotionally attached, they would have, they would have been on their way a long time ago with the chariot card, they wouldn't be back and forth indecisive with the two of wands, whether to return back to you or not. And I feel like this person is not fully admitting that they do have feelings for you and that they care about you. I feel like they're trying to act like they don't care about you. Yeah, or like like if none of this meant anything to them, like this connection or this relationship or this ending, it didn't doesn't mean anything to them. They're acting very cold here. Tell me about that Ten of Swords, the Hangman and the Ace of Cups. Look at that. This person thought it was going to be a lot easier to move on from you, and it it's not that easy. I think it's causing that this person frustration. The fact that they do find themselves second guessing themselves, second guessing this ending with you. They thought it would be very simple and very easy to just move on, move on with their life. But here they are thinking about you, here they are thinking about everything that has happened between you two and it's not giving them tranquility. It's not giving them peace. And I feel like this person is trying to, trying to be at peace. They're trying to be at peace with the situation, with the loss, with the loss of this relationship or the loss of this connection. But deep down inside with the Nine of Cups, they're not happy. They're not happy with the outcome of this connection or and or relationship. Um, and they do want more. They do want more from it. 
they do want more out of it. They don't feel like they're done. They feel, it's almost like they feel like there's a lot of missed potential between you and them. With the star and with the sun, it's like this person feels like there's a lot of untapped potential. And it, it bothers them to walk away from all of that potential that could have manifested between you and them. You know? Tell me about two of wands. Yeah, there it is, okay. I clarified the two of wands and here we have 10 of cups in reverse and the two of cups upright. All right, there it is. That's what I just said right now. In the reality, this is someone who, I feel like on the outside they seem kind of cold or detached, but in reality, this is someone who does care about you and they care about the connection with you. They do have feelings for you. And with the 10 of cups in reverse, it's like, again, they could feel that there is a lot of potential between you two to have a happily ever after. And they're indecisive in regards to whether they want to, to revisit this potential or if they just want to cut ties and walk away with the chariot. Okay, all right, that's what I see here, Scorpio. I hope this made sense to you, I hope it resonated. I'm going to continue in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and, uh, and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.